Everything I do, I hope, is that I represent something, and I represent the right things to my children and give them the right sense of what they're capable of and the world as it should be seen. What nourishes me also destroys me. The moment you have a child, in an instant your life is not for you, and your life is completely, 100% dedicated to another human being, and they will always come first. It changes you forever. It changes your perspective and it gives you a nice purpose and focus. It's hard to be clear about who you are when you are carrying around a bunch of baggage from the past. I've learned need to let go and move more quickly into the next place. Breast cancer alone kills some 458 thousand people each year, according to the World Health Organization, mainly in low- and middle-income countries. It has got to be a priority to ensure that more women can access gene testing and life-saving preventive treatment, whatever their means and background, wherever they like. Homework hard. Especially math. My kids joke with me. They tell me they have homework. I say, okay. And then I sit down and they say, it's math. No, not math. English, history, anything. I am deeply grateful to the citizens of Sarajevo and the Sarajevo Canton Assembly for bestowing upon me this incredible honor of citizenship. I am so proud to now be a part of such an extraordinary part of the world and fellow citizen to the people I deeply love and admire. Ever since I dated a woman, I know what it is to grab a curve on a woman's body. Skinny's not fine when the lights are low. I am odd looking. I sometimes think I look like a funny muppet. My mom. She was a very, very soft woman. It was hard for her to yell or even curse. But when it came to fighting for her kids, she found a strength she didn't always know she had. We have a choice about how we take what happens to us in our life and whether or not we allow it to turn us. We can become consumed by hate and darkness or we're able to regain our humanity somehow, or come to terms with things and learn something about ourselves. If every choice you make comes from an honest place, you're solid, and nothing anybody can say about you can rock you or change your opinion. When you work as a humanitarian, you are conscious that politics have to be considered. Because if you really want to make an extreme change, then you have a responsibility. We think it's fun for our kids to have cameos and join us on set, but not to be actors. That's not our goal for Brad and me at all. I think we would both prefer that they didn't become actors. Therapy. I don't need that. The roles that I choose are my therapy. Like every parent, 
when you start your family, your life completely changes. And you completely live for someone else. I find that the most extraordinary thing. Your life is handed over to someone else. From that moment on, they come first in every choice you make. It's the most wonderful thing. You have to just make the choices you make in life. I made the choices I made because I believe they were right for me. There's nothing I have to hide or defend. I'm gonna live my life. And there are times when people wanna try to attack me. And I don't know why. But they will. And that's okay. It is really funny when people say you'd be obvious for a great villain. I was the punk outsider who nobody messed with. I was fearless. That 16, I graduated and moved out. Maleficent has suffered abuse in the past. And there's a reason why she is now as curious as she is. And I think that children who have been outcast and abused in any way will relate to her. There's a beautiful side to her. She's not just the dark person. She has all these facets. And that is interesting. If you're going to spend two years of your life on something, it has to matter to you. You have to be passionate about it. If there is even one woman out there who went and got checked and found that she had cancer or she was positive and she caught something in time, and if in any small way I was a part of that, it makes me very emotional. Men don't really like skinny, do they? When I was growing up, I wanted to adopt. Because I was aware there were kids that didn't have parents. I don't see myself as beautiful because I can see a lot of flaws. People have really odd opinions. They tell me I'm skinny, as if that's supposed to make me happy. I'm a woman, and anytime you tell a woman that she looks nice, it's not going to upset her. I've learned that we all change constantly. It's rare to find that person who is growing with you in the same way at the same time, who encourages you to grow. I didn't even know I needed throw pillows. That was always Brad's thing. The Maddox's Holy Pit Foundation's work is inspired by our children and their connection to particular countries. It is a joy to be an artist, but it doesn't mean very much unless that work is somehow useful in some way and contributes to others. It was queer to be married. You kind of lose your identity. You're suddenly somebody's wife. And you're like, oh, I'm half of a couple now. I've lost me.